they grew up in a three and he's like chilling on the side like being the guy like chilling on the side like chin up with his tat out and like that and he like i'm talking like this guy's got back hair <laughs> you know what i mean when you got back hair you're at least in your 20s <laughs> but i would clock this guy i'm saying 25 at minimum and now he's like entertaining these other two 14 year olds with the one that he's with and i was just like is nobody else seeing this it's black hoodie i'm back cooking these goodies look at these views from cooking these foods yeah all right y'all got myself a big old satchel the popeyes it's not that crazy it's just a chicken uh sandwich platter so platters two sides i got a coleslaw i got onion rings and i needed just i just been thinking about that chicken sandwich for probably a week now and i just i don't get popeyes that often but every once in a while just one of these chicken sandwiches is amazing and i need to have it with coleslaw schlopped all over it also i am doing this in my driveway there's a reason for that i drove there i was gonna do it there and then i had a emergency ibs got a little shift and i live close enough that i had to come home and use the facils but anyways i'll bring you down for the real thing cam let's dress up this burger because really that's the main star of the show today chat about some things you know maybe about some toilet talk maybe about going swimming and sound of freedom at the pool today with a weird guy and then maybe also a police standoff last night in my area i don't know you know what i mean we, we never know okay there's stuff all right on the real thing can we got the beautiful chicken sandy i asked for some Extra pickles, I love. As for extra pickles, that doesn't really seem extra pickles-ish, but it's fine, it's all good, no stress. But what we're gonna do here, let's take this top bun, and we're gonna take at least, well, not at least, but some of this coleslaw, and this is what the deep crave was. Let's dress up the top of this chicken with a nice bunch of coleslaw, right? All right, so we coleslaw that baby up, you know, I always work, working with one hand. And how crazy it would be to put onion rings. Should I? Such a debate. Ah, I'm going to do, I'm just going to do one on one side. So that way I can have the best of both, <laughs> both worlds. This is how weird I am with my food, right? I can maybe try one with, a, with an onion ring bite and the rest. Pretty much how I'm craving it. All right, there's the rings. We got all our sauces prepped and ready to roll. Catch, ketchups are open, sweet heats. Got the black and ranch. Then down here we got the half and half, the Arnie Palmer, the best for a hot summer's day. Half iced tea, half lemonade. Kind of like my neighborhood. We'll talk about it. 50-50 neighborhood. All right, y'all, we got this in the makeshift bonnet out of the, like, the foil bag, but yo, you know what I mean? Sometimes, like, just the crazy Popeye's chicken sandwich is truly where it's at that drizzle mix with a little black and ranch as well that first bite goes crazy with the slaw and the onion rings and the pickle So messy, but I do not care. Look at that. Let's walk on outside. Good thing I'm home now. I need my driveway when I can go in after this because <laughs> these clothes will now 100% be going in the washing machine. Wow, that's good. Incredible. Onion ring got lost in it, though, you know? I don't know if the cinematic cam lets you get those, those uh, focused bites. That's the one thing about the cinematic cam that I do not really love. As to the old cam, the regular cam. As it doesn't focus in the same way. 
I'm just accepting I'm going full dirty in this, by the way. Just please bear with that. <laughs> this is hitting the spot like so completely crazy. Especially because first only meal of the day and I just did like yard work and I went swimming so that 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 swimming hunger that summer swimming hunger next level all right let me go clean up here for a sec I gotta recoup. Bust out the big gun. <laughs> Always have a roll with you. Actually, that's that's from a, a a woman who I fixed her. Well, I did her yard. I pruned her trees, and then I fixed her her handrail that came off. She's 82. Her name is Eloise, <laughs> and uh, she actually gave me that because I was sweating my bag off. It was super hot. But anyways, an Arnold Palmer too, if you don't know you. Well, I think most people do. Just half laminated. Half iced tea, like I said. But on a hot summer's day, it's perfect. <laughs> and how it relates to my neighborhood is that the neighborhood I live in is, is very 50-50. It's like part iced tea. Iced tea being the cool, calm, collected herbal people of the neighborhood. And then the lemonade <clears throat> being <laughs> those that sour the bunch that end up causing police standoffs. <laughs> I'll insert the clip here <laughs> from last night. I was just driving to get a coffee. Getting a coffee? Watching the standoff. Perfect. <laughs> Buddy's got the rifle out ready to snipe. <laughs> and, uh, that was just a guy posted up, probably like an officer, I should say. Not like a SWAT guy, just a regular, in regular dress, but he had some sort of an assault rifle scoped in tucked up behind uh, his car over the hood. And uh, then there was like, I would say 12 more cruisers. The black SWAT van. And uh, everything else, all this commotion kind of going on. And so my curious ass is like, I wanted to whip around back to just kind of inspect what was happening in the rear, like have my coffee and a coffee and a show basically. So I whipped around the back and then on the back side were all the SWAT guys like piled like kind of talking at the van but they were in full dress full SWAT gear sort of like uh in the game counter-strike counter-terrorist win i don't know if any any of you in my audience have ever played cs probably one of the best first person shooters ever to be created probably still funner than Call of Duty but anyways they were all they're bunching their tactical gear and then there's a couple dudes that posted on the side of the building <laughs> at some at a certain point they started signaling like 
anybody who's watching from that side, they're like signaling, like, get out of here. Like, you know what I mean? You're distracting the mission. But um, it was taking forever. And there's just nothing happening that was super dramatic. So as I checked up on it today, it was just like a, a dude hold up, I guess, with threats of like having like hostages and drug related shit and like domestic and I'm going to kill and kill self and that type of thing. So. I think they were able to apprehend them though. So just interesting. My, my neighborhood is, my neighborhood is pretty interesting, especially in the warm summer months. Never a dull moment around here. There's always some ruckus shit popping off and people getting up to pretty much no good. So nobody shot, nobody killed, no murders, no nothing like that. Which on one hand, it's like, yeah, that's the best case scenario, right? And that is. <laughs> but that inner part of you is a crazy human. You don't want the tragic ending per se, but you want some action, right? Part of you is like, if this is already happening and taking place, let's kick it up a couple notches, right? Like let's let's make this worth my money, even though there's no money involved. But you know what I mean? I wanna see this escalate to a point of like where there's a little action right but nobody gets hurt <laughs> but some people are like nah we want all the action and gun down the gun down the bad guy <laughs> so maybe somebody some people want that too I don't know I'm personally a fan of the safe resolve but there's a part of me that's like, we could uh, kick it into high gear a little bit, you know? <laughs> Crossing out. But yeah, as far as the, as uh, in the intro there, I kind of just said like going to the pool slash Sound of Freedom, Sound of Freedom being like this new, more uh, pedo type movie. Been with me long enough, you know that me and my mom love to swim. So we go for dips fairly often in the summer, but But today as I was walking in, there's a dude walking across the field with a girl, white dude, but he looks at least, I'm talking full beard, like tattoo, you know what I mean? Like this guy's 25, 27. With like an olive skin girl who looked Anywhere between 13 and 15 tops. But they were walking in like they were. Kind of. You know. Like if there's a vibe or coupley. And. I was like okay. Weird whatever. And I thought maybe okay. It's not like. Just I don't know. I don't know the scenario but. Whatever. So they get in the pool. And then they start getting like really like. Touchy and shit. But it's like kind of her coming after him more or less. But you know. And then there's these two other girls in her same age range. 
and eventually these girls go I'm talking 14 years old they grew up in a three and he's like chilling on the side like being the guy like chilling on the side like chin up with his tat out and like that and he like I'm talking like this guy's got back hair <laughs> you know what I mean when you got back hair you're at least in your 20s <laughs> But I would clock this guy, I'm saying 25 at minimum. And now he's like entertaining these other two 14 year olds with the one that he's with. And I was just like, is nobody else seeing this? I know there's technically no crime in, you know, talking to people who are younger than you. <laughs> But when you're a dude and you look like that, with three 14, 15 year old females. So I tried to kind of like bring myself a bit closer and just kind of play the wall to just see if I could catch some intel. And this dude was like talking, trying to talk to them about what he could make them for dinner and shit. And then he was talking about chili and craft dinner. And I would imagine the dude probably has his own apartment or, you know, like he's got his little apartment or place. And I just was like, this guy's really trying to get these girls over to his place for dinner. And then she goes, the one girl that he didn't come with, like the one, one of the new girls that joined into like them hanging out, goes and grabs her phone and they're like, exchanging i think it was numbers or instagram and i was just like what i almost wanted to go up like just interject to the dude and be like are you trying to catch a charge like who like how old are you man <laughs> like really though how old are you it was really weird and seemingly, I mean, nobody's going to step in and say anything. There's nobody to step in and say anything. Like, the lifeguards aren't going to do that. He showed up with the girl. I don't, nobody knows their relationship, but. It just, I, I'm like, I don't know. It really, it just tripped me out. It really, really tripped me out. And I really was, like, so tempted to just be like, bro. But really, though, like. You know what I mean? Like, really though, what, what are you doing? What are you doing right now? And then I, I mentioned it to my mom, and she's like, "Yeah, no, I've been seeing and that girl that he came with." And I was like, "Yeah, and?" And she was like, "Maybe she's prostituting in the area." Like, and that's what I'm saying about my area. It's a little half iced tea, half lemonade. It's a little fifty-fifty. It's a little sour in places. And I was just like, to my mom, like, if she's prostituting, that's even, isn't that, like, just as bad or worse? Like, you know? But then I said to my mom, like, clearly that's not the case, because what dude has the audacity to bring a prostitute that looks that young to a public Cool, you know that would just be absolutely criminally stupid but anyways it tripped me out and chances are by the way that that well, the other girl that the, the one that was well the two that were added but one was being more responsive there's a good chance that they're at his house eating craft dinner and chili right now so tis the world we live in Some people are strange. It was pretty bothersome to observe, but it is what it is. I can't interject. What am I going to go in? Go try to like interject with this guy and then what? What's that going to do? I can't, you know, I don't have any enforcement powers and he's really doing nothing wrong. wrong. He's just an older dude talking to young, talking to younger girls. Like there's no, really there's no crime there. So if I was to try to do anything, <laughs> I end up being the criminal, which is the craziest part about the world and law and how shit works is like, if you try to be like more vigilante, you just ended up, you end up being the criminal, 
which is crazy. Anyways, um, that sandwich was incredible. Till the next one, eat good, live well, stay true, enjoy your summer, enjoy these nights, it's few and far between, short, at least here it is. Okay, bye. <laughs> If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.